crazy, isn't it's it? It's classed as an estate. Yeah, it is. In a state. Good CD in it as well. I haven't checked the CD yet. Was it? <laughs> is that how much you paid for it? Yeah. Taxi! Subscribe now. We're having a little, trying to get a little head start here and having a little sneaky look at what's going through. This Thursday's auction at Leominster, am I? Yeah. Anything you found, sir? Yeah. What have you found? An Audi A3 S line. <laughs> it's done 166,839 miles. It don't matter whether it never had an engine in it, you ain't getting that for 500 quid. It's 2008, like, no? I okay. doubt it. What about a Citroen Berlingo? More likely. Like. Uh, it's 150, nearly 156,000 miles and it is a 09 plate. I've put it in vehicle score and it's given me an estimate of the retail value is between 2 and 2.5. So you're not going to get that for 500 quid? Yeah. Yeah, so you've got to look some at, you've got to look at some with like a retail value of like 1,500 quid or something like that. Okay. Uh, I've got one. Go on. It's a Vauxhall Corsa Comfort. It's an 02 plate. And it's done, well, it's done 65,000 miles, so the miles might, mm. I don't know. It's in green. Yeah, it's uh, got 10 lines in service history. So it might go for a bit more, I don't know. I've but potentially got one that's in keeping <coughs> with us. Go on then. A Fiat Grand, Grande Ponto. <laughs> No, I hate that them one. cars. Absolutely hate them. Detest them. Oh yeah, I seen that one, but it didn't look very nice. No. You see, this isn't our fault. Eh? Chancy loves his five hundred quid cars. That's why he's done this because he knows yeah. what he's buying. Yeah. We don't know what we're buying. Stitch us up, innit? Yeah. Right. So ta today's the day. Then we're heading down to Leominster. Right. We're just searching through some of the cars that are going through the auction tonight. I've found right. The what most... lot is that, Sarah? Which one? The one you're on about. Number thirteen. Right. Oh. Yeah. Your lucky number. My lucky number, right. <laughs> and it's a Skoda Fabia, right? 1.1 oh, 1. 1 or 1.2. 1. Um, <laughs> it's done 82,000 miles on a 2008, right? And all the panels are all different colours. It's like the bloody, remember the Benetton car? United Colours of Benetton. It's got a red wing, a grey bumper, a orange bonnet and then the rest of it's like the one side's orange yeah. from the back and the other side is like red i mean it would be a nice car if it was painted that i mean it looks but it just cost too much to paint it obviously we wouldn't be going down here to just buy random so the only bad bits is it's um it's over 10 years old which isn't really a bad bit though is it we always use vehicle score to do our checks first and you should too and it passed it's passed like it, last time it failed was in 2020 the last thing yeah. um the advisory on the last one is a near so near side rear coil spring corroded yeah i think it's just had a bit of a bit of a bump on the one side someone's just repaired it and then just so, no, just thought so, i'll get rid of it now it's gonna it's costing us too much maybe um but that you can tell that is a clean it was a clean car wasn't it what else have we got we've got a citron c3 1.4 What's um, a Suzuki Grand Vitara like? All right, but I reckon the road tax will be dear on that. Vehicle score it. Bloody hell. I've never seen them on that long before. Look. Can't meet that, there's a family channel. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at all the bloody advisories. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. They must have took it to an MOT station and had a vendetta against them. <laughs> they must not have liked them. They must not have liked them. Bloody hell, it's bigger than my shopping list at Christmas. And it didn't even bloody, it didn't even fail. Surely. <laughs> it never even failed. No. It actually passed with it all them advisories. Passed, yeah. Surely, if you've oh got that God. many advisories, the it, car's not safe to be on the road, <laughs> is it? No. You wouldn't have thought so, would you? I need to find out where that MOT station is. <laughs> Stand start, clear of that yeah. one. Uh, no, do you know what? He's, he's actually like tortured in there, isn't he? Yeah. He's like, he's not like, 
He probably wants to come. He hasn't actually shot him in the head. He wants to he's like, himself. He's going to be at auction tonight. There's nothing wrong with it. He's like slowly tortured him over over time. <laughs> because he's just gone home and worried himself to death there. And thought, I've got to get rid of my car. Let's see what the advisors was before. Well, there was a few before. Well, they've been going on for years. They've never done any of the advisors. Only so that's just, that's just a sign now. As another prime example of why you should use vehicle score is because you can go back over time and build a picture of whether you should buy that car and how they've looked after it. Obviously, it's had advisories over the last five years, almost similar to the same ones. So, he hasn't looked after it, he hasn't spent a penny on it, he's just using it, so you don't want that car. No. Simple as that, you stay clear. Um, that so car needs to be um, sent to the scrap yard. It's scrap, it's scrap. Yeah, that, the cost of doing that would outweigh the cost of the price of the car. It looks like a nice car, but... Leave Chancey will buy it, try and talk Chancey in some years. Yeah. <laughs> Probably we've got to set him up here, because we need to win. I can't remember, I haven't been there for years. I've never been there, I don't even know where Leo I've got, is. I've I got, thought it's by Legoland. What? Legoland. I haven't got a clue. just sounds a bit like Legoland. But Leo means it sounds like Legoland. Well, L-E, L-E, Lego, Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what are you thinking? I can't break my mind off. <laughs> what are you thinking now? Possibly the Z. I like I still like the Z three. Yeah. But there's a lot of cheap cars in there. Yeah, there is. There's gonna be a lot under five hundred pounds. Yeah, I can say that I can say there could be something potentially um Potentially, there's a couple of things that I'm uh, I'm after, but I don't know. But well, I imagine just going for the most stupidest outrageous car. We'll see. This is uh, this could be exciting. Right, there's, there's some good cars. I reckon there's about twenty cars in there that go under five hundred pounds. Right, so we're on the way down to Leominster. It is Thursday afternoon and we are heading southbound towards the Welsh district. What Welsh district is that? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's not far from Wales anyway. I know it's not far. So anyway, in the meantime, Sarah has found a... Array few, of cars. Not an array. It's not quite an array. It's quite quantiful. Uh, you made that up again. I did make that up. Quantum. Sounds quite good. So if you can see, this is the one that Chancy was on about earlier when he rang her. Don't know if you can see that because of the light. I think you can. Yeah, you see that. So this is the one Chancy's on about getting. I don't think they do. The cars in the newspaper anymore. But... In the, uh, on eBay, there's one on eBay sitting it today. Same mileage, tidy, 995. Still thinks he's got an auto trader catalogue at home. Yeah. Remember the days. Does anyone remember? Why were we talking about that? Does anyone remember when you used to advertise your cars and you'd get the guy, because obviously you never had cameras, the guy would, you'd ring Auto Trader up, they would come round, right? You would put your, you'd write your little description down and you'd put your money in a money, little plastic money bag from the bank with your description and put it up the exhaust and they would come round, take the photos, take the money, it would be in the, in the catalogue next uh, a week later on a Friday. Really? Yeah. I used to get the auto trader before I even learn to drive. Just used to uh, what cars I wanted. Yeah. I used to do that and in the, in the plant section. I used to do it in the Toys R Us catalogue as well. Oh, I used to love that. And the Argus catalogue. Yeah, yeah. Now obviously Chance has got the upper hand on me here because if he buys one, he's taking it back on his truck. I've got to drive it, so I've got a chance of it breaking before we get it home. 
we'll get you back tomorrow. You're gonna buy good ones. You hope you are. If not, mine'll be on there. I'll get you one. Right, and Chancy, this is your one. Are you having it? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Do you know what? It's got a good score on vehicle score. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Look at that. That's proper in between, that's all in it there. Stop. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that on here? Uh -huh. <laughs> a five speed gearbox. Bonnet's open, battery's flat. Comes with an engine. Tio, you're spoiled. It's got a bit of coolant in it. The coolant's more red than the paintwork. Well, you're all right then. Sold. Two formal keepers. I can't believe it's only done 63,000 miles. Yeah, would you want Where to... was I in the desert? Would you want to drive further than 63,000 miles in this? <laughs> <laughs> Not in a lifetime. You could put a roof tent on that, couldn't you? <laughs> right, I bet we could have this red for next week. You reckon that buff up? Put the roof tent on, jump yeah. in and the bloody thing collapse. I don't know, I'm not sure why it's got wind deflectors though, because oh, like, <laughs> it only does about 20 mile an hour. Yeah, it's to help it go faster. <laughs> what number is this? Number seven, we're going for this one. Yeah. Number 74. It's only got service history as well. That is crazy, it's isn't it? It's classed as an estate. Yeah, it is. In a state? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's a little theatre over here. That's it. Little punto, isn't it? These sell quite well. Punto Dynamic. I'm afraid not for me, sir. Not for me. On a 63 plate, it's not in the challenge. You're getting sidetracked again. Yeah, well, I think we're going to make money as well. Well, let's concentrate on the challenge. What the hell's that happened there? The no, that's all right. You get away with that. If you cut that round square, you'll just say that's for your toe in eye. You like this one? Yeah. I like the mismatched. Wheel trims, Toyota on the front. Oh, I can use them on my one over there then if I get that one. I don't know what that is. With a box up, this car is a little bit short. It's a little bit short, sort You reckon you'd get two of these little ends on there? You'd it's still be underweight, point. the old Pixo. I did look at that, but no, I'm not into it. This is the one I was looking at. Don't tell Chance, because he'll, he'll know he's out of the game then. Number 15. It's got MOT till September, 1.4, loads of service history, local radio and with two keys. Let's have a look round. I know you're jealous. This is a clean example of a 21 year old motor. Here's the in-betweeners vehicle. And I might have known, chance has gone running straight to it. Yeah, why not though? Loves it. You can't buy the damaged ones, because everyone here wants cars to go straight in the forecourt. We gotta think out the box. We go for the rough ones, spend 50 quid on them. So what, you're gonna paint that for 50 quid? Yeah, Halford's gonna spray paint. We've got MOT till July. Yeah, you need till July to make that look right. Ah. Easy days. Oh, we've just found a beast there. Look at this, 142. Service history. Lovely little Fiat. I don't know what it is. Is it a Fiat? What is it, a Fiat? Panda, that was it, Panda. They're that old, I can't even remember them. Are you going to bid today, sir? No. Why? Bid on the wrong thing. No, we know what to bid on. You just have to just... Put your, put your number up. I'll let you know when he starts talking with looking at it, like, and make out what he's saying or not. Because I might go over 500 then. Oh, so Chancey's found one. He wants a Mazda free. He's having a little look at now, so he's up next. See so whether he can uh, do any good with that. It's a Mazda free Sport 2008 Cup over to the 40. Late for next year. Good long test. Then loads of history as well with it. On the Mazda Deluxe for the Mazda. So 
Mr. Watson back there then. You went over. I got excited. <laughs> So that's not, that's not for, for you, Nitty Boy, another one. Oh, Let's see what happens. So he messed up with that one there, he went to 550, he got carried away. So he had, he's got a boy, another one now. He's shot himself in the foot there, hasn't he? Now, Sarah's having a bid on this one. This is the very first bid, she's a bit nervous, okay. No. You're not nervous? Yes. Are you having a go on the Indian Art and Colors of Benetton? What? So you haven't got the Benetton car? Oh, yeah. Right, let's see if you can do this one. Yeah. This one's empty. Well, this is a tidy little thing, isn't it? But it just needs a lot of body work. I don't mind putting it for the auction. I'm only going more 50 miles. Yeah, I'm not going to get it on the Citroen. C3 2003, no TV in September, 60,000 miles, one point in the time of the radio rented from Metzger, tiny little thing on the little thing to our front stand, I see living on that great birthday, great country, 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 great Lost it by 50. Lost it by 50. Did you go through by 50? Yeah. Just lost it. What's the next one then? I can't remember now. Sarah's yeah, got nervous because they wouldn't look, they wouldn't look it up. You didn't want to look at me today. You, you weren't doing that then. So you hold the paper up so you can see your paper. I was just going. No, you're just doing that. She don't listen. Right, so our first choice. Chancy blew his first choice because he paid 550, so he's out the game. He's still got a rebuy. Our first choice we never got because he got it fetched 550 as 550. well. Both our first choices went to 550. Sarah never bid it, obviously, because we're only coming here to buy one car and one I'm car not over. Sarah's not cheating. Chancy was hoping we weren't going to look, but I clocked it. We've got it on camera. Now, um, our second bet is a Toyota Yaris. Uh, that is our next bet. We only actually like two, there may be three. Uh, if all else fails, we've got a... We've got a backup, haven't we? <laughs> we've got a Fiat Panda, <laughs> right? Now, if that fails... We're going home empty-handed. I don't, we can't go home empty-handed. We've just got to buy the nearest knacker that we can get. And I've got to drive it back, an hour and a half. Jesus, what's going to buy there? Uh, he's obviously going to be done now. He's bottled it, he's bottled the wagon. Too big, that's it, too big. Oh my god, how's that fetching through the quid? How's that fetching 350? Huh? 350? I hate this bit. When you're driving back and you've got no fuel and you don't know where the petrol gauge is, this is the worst part about it. I'm going to have to crawl all the way down. The fuel light was flashing the minute I turned it on. I haven't got a clue how many miles left. Fingers crossed that we're going to get there. Your destination is on the right. So this is good because uh, I've just put 15 quid in and the fuel light is still on. And there's also a suspicious looking bit of black tape covering a, covering a light on the dash. Oh my God, what have we done? 
after a worrying hour and a half drive home in the dark in a car that I knew nothing about, we finally made it home and surprisingly, both myself and the car were still in one piece. Well, I can't turn the wipers off. Yeah. And, uh, and that noise, that, that, that deafening squeal that you can keep hearing it don't go off. Yeah. It goes off when you indicate. So we'll put the we're just going to have to keep turning left. <laughs> there, I'm going to put my indicator on ready. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had the hazards on. It works with the hazards as well. <laughs> but your car looks smashing from behind. Smashing? <laughs> like, it, like it's had a smash. I think there's definitely, um, I would say, definitely a lambda sensor uh, notification sitting underneath that gaffer tape. He needs to worry up, man. <laughs> it's rolling back. You're rolling back. <laughs> the light behind's flashing you because you've got your indicator on. I've had to turn the <laughs> indicators off because I'm confusing him behind. Sorry I'll, take, I'll tell you what, put the flipping hazards on to say thank you for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the beep. <laughs> You're right. Can I bring it in my ears all night now? That's bugging us up for the evening. Hello? Hello? Right, so we're heading off now to do the big car reveal. We're going to meet Chansey at the Piston Club on the Alcester Road in Stratford upon Avon. I've never been here before, Greg. Neither have I. Excuse that noise. It was, <laughs> there was something behind us. Bit, bit of road noise. Autos, please. What do you reckon then? Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. You can't beat a bit of Valley Taxis, can you? Who are you going to call? Valley Taxis. It's not Ghostbusters, it's Valley Taxis. Right, let's have a look round and see what we got. Uh, should we start with Chances? Right, Chances has got the old traditional. What is it? A 1.4? 1.6. Is it a 1.6 SXI? This yeah. is. So it's the sort after modelling it's time. This was quite quick. That's why I kept leaving us for dust. Um, it's in excellent condition, as you can tell. Uh, one owner from there. Yeah, just we've just, we've just 25,000 miles. Bit of one in front of that as well. I think maybe another zero. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but what's it drive like? Course, quite nice. Things. It kept getting a bit bumpy at the traffic lights though. Bumpy? Yeah. yeah. There's a noise over here. When you hit 50 miles an hour, you can hear something coming off this wheel. I don't know whether it's the, the wheel. No, we do. You turn <laughs> it the could be the tyre. Turn the radio. That's what we had to do in there. Turn yeah. the radio up. You don't hear it. Yeah, oh, so. I can still hear the, be the beeping in that one with the radio on. Oh, no. So oh, the phone was ringing. Body works like quite good on this, like, um, as you can see. Uh, it's pretty straight. The panels are pretty straight all the way down. Yeah. Uh, but, um, I think someone's been watching a bit too much YouTube. So I don't know what's happened there. I think that's a lamppost and then they've tried to pop it back out. I think they had a dog and the dog was trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> that's cruel. Yeah, so, well, I mean, can you get in the boot? You can. Go on then, get in then. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you can as well. Right. Can you get in the boot? I think so. Yeah, you definitely can. Well, right. open now. That. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> yeah, you got plenty of room. Plenty of room to kidnap someone. Yeah. Is there a spare wheel? Spare wheel, extra points for that. And there's a jack underneath, but they put it in upside down. So, have they put it in upside down? They might not have. Yeah, touch that. <laughs> yeah so, um, you get extra points if you find a five pence piece behind the uh, seat. Oh, it definitely was a dog, look. There was a dog in there. Yeah, so oh, yeah. that is from a dog trying to jump out. No, yeah, there's no marks there. Look, someone hadn't even put that back on right. 
Oh, well, it's, a, it's in quite good nick. I mean, the wiper blades are good. Oh, I've ended up in YouTube. YouTube it again. Yeah. I don't know how they've managed to do both sides like that. They must live by some high curves. Mm -hmm. And it? Well, no, it drives quite nice. Turn out too short. It drives all right. Well, yeah. I'd say, yeah. I thought it drives quite nice. Nice colour match. Yeah, if you if you put if you reshelled it, that would be perfect. Mm -hmm. So moving on swiftly forward, we have got the Nissan Primera. Oh, bloody, hell, that's a bit warm. We don't need to go in there for food. We'll just go and get a pack of eggs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nissan Primera. It could do with unlike chances. The bodywork on this is quite good. The back bumper has been aerosoled, but it's not really a massive problem. Um, but yeah, it looks all right. We got this one straight at the valleys. Uh, See, it was perfect for you then. Valley autos, car from the valleys. Yeah, that's true. We can't do a boot test on this one because Chancy doesn't want to get in this boot. So I said, don't bother, it's fine. Um, true, me, no? uh, nothing to do with the fact that we can't open it. <laughs> or we haven't worked out how to open it. You might be able to open it. No. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Could, could be a dead body in there. Oh, we are missing a plastic. Oh, oh, he's done it. Did you get them? <laughs> oh no, I want one of these. Anyway, you've got some tiny hook straps down there. I'll get extra points for that so you can secure down your load. Yeah? Has it got a spare wheel? Any points for a spare wheel? Oh, this looks clean. Oh, look at that. Oh, brand new tires. Brand new. Perfect. So I'll get two points for that. Brand new Dunlap. If I'll ever get that boot open again, I do not know. Tires are round. Uh, <laughs> round and smooth. Yeah, <laughs> round. They're not smooth. They're all right. But yeah, I can't say any more. So I'm quite happy with this selection. Are you happy with yours, Chance? Quite happy, other than the body work, it drives quite nice. I'm other than the body work, the car's there. mint, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite shocked how good it does drive. That, do you know what? That drives all right as well. It's buzzing. Buzzing like mad. You can't turn the wipers off. And I think this side, um, this brake pads and disc on it. I think the, I think I don't think there's any brake pads in there anymore. They're all on the wheels. <laughs> Most of it's on the wheels, yeah. Grind. It sounds like it starts to thunder when you put your foot on the brake. And then and sort of goes. How's right. it go again? <laughs> It'll do that. I'll do that in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so there we have yeah, it. Then. I think you've got the cleaner one anyway. It's tidy, isn't it? Like, do you know what? Someone could put that back on the road. And all, all my suspicions is it was an elderly guy. He's had it more or less from new because I think there's only a few owners on this. Mm -hmm. A couple of owners. There's two owners, you right. Two owners. And he's had it a very, very, very long time. Looked after it. It's got a lot of service history, but it's probably just sat on his drive for a, for a while because wipers are rusty, the brakes are rusty. Um, and it's just missing. You wouldn't blow mileage as well, innit? 73,000. I don't know how it's got 12 months MOT on with him right plan, so. Did it have 12 months? No, it hasn't. September. What was it? I thought that yours is 12 months, isn't it? Mine's is September. It's a gem, you see. So I've only got four months. Good CD, in it as well. I haven't checked the CD yet. I think it was 50%. Was it? <laughs> is that how much you paid for it? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's expensive. Do I leave that on to go through the auction? Yeah. <laughs> Should I? Yeah. <laughs> Traffic film remover. I wonder if we get rid of them dents.
car enthusiast, this is the place to be, the Piston Club, the Stag, all Sester Road, Stratford upon Avon. They have special event days and everything here as well, so get yourself down here. After the WX has gone past, here we are, getting our taxi. <coughs> right. We've got to clean them clean now, haven't they? Courtesy of Power Max Valentin. Yeah, which you get free samples when you go inside to have something to eat and that. They're on the bar. Because the owner of the pub actually owns Power Max. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go Pretty then. Nice gentleman. So we're going to have a little competition now. We can clean ours up the best. Well, I'm going to try this one because look. Traffic film remover for car. So ideal touchless pre-wash. Cuts through grease and grime. Excellent bug remover. Cleaning cloth. I'm going to go for the more traditional... Uh, Traditional method. What you got? I've got a uh, traffic film remover. I hope it's not stolen this, mate. Do you know what, Chance? Your motor don't look too bad now, it's getting dark. Working at the car wash, yeah. Well, that's the difference between an SXI and any sample mirror. That's the rabbit and the hare scenario again. I'm sure we talked about that in this video. <laughs> we'll get the, not the rabbit and the hare. Rabbit and the tortoise. Rabbit and the tortoise. drives really well obviously it'll benefit from a service and a good brake overhaul but you can understand why well, these cars are good for hundreds of thousands of miles having done only 73,000 miles this has barely been broken in yet what a lovely car so I'm gonna give this a little once over now I'm gonna tidy up the wheels uh, give them put some acid on them black up the tires give it a good wash and a polish all over I've just checked the oil and the water all the coolant levels perfect and there is enough oil in there like i say it does need a service but there's oil in there um i'm going to try and make this as look as good as i can to get the upper hand against chancy uh, so we'll have to see what happens There you go, washed it, polished it, I pumped the tyres up, blacked, blacked the tyres, cleaned the wheels. I'm not doing any more than that, but I think that will give me a fighting chance. So I wonder, uh, so I wonder how chance he's getting on. Um, I think this side's a bit worse. You wouldn't tell now, Chante. Yeah, I'm an expert at this. It's a good job the next door neighbour's car silver. So now we know, Chance, that the Mark V Astra was painted in wheel silver. So we've just managed to find, I don't know how we've managed to find this, but they're, they're in Chance's bloody van, uh, which I never even know about. Both these vehicles have got full, full service history. There's no, there's no lights on there that shouldn't be, is there? No, but someone's, someone hiding or something. Should we have a look, see if they're hiding to me? That's, oh. the, that's the handbrake light. What's the one that's there before? The airbag light. It's a Vauxhall itself, fix itself. It must have. No all lights, is that? Nah, nothing. Here's the lad lads heading down to auction with the challenge vehicles. 
So, Chansey, what are your thoughts on this evening? We've, best two cars in here, haven't we? we've actually put a 400 quid reserve on each car, so we're not asking the world for them, we just want our money back. Mm. Uh, and if we get any more, it's a bonus. <laughs> But you got more, yeah. So we have to do the sums and see what, uh, see how it adds up. But I'll tell you what, all it is, it's the fees that take it out. If you didn't have any fees, it would have been all right. You'd be yeah. okay. Both would have been in profit. Yeah. But well, I think we're all, I think we're both about hundred quid out. Yeah. Anyway. Fifty pound each. Well, I'll see. I'll work it all out tomorrow. I'll put it on the screen. Shake hands. Good Yeah. All been a good challenge. All What's the next one? <laughs> If you want to see another challenge like this, don't forget, put it down in the comments, give us a uh, like the video like and don't the forget, and don't forget if you haven't subscribed, click the uh, click the subscribe button now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.